Hello everybody and welcome to the last frame of this current session. Mark Harris to break. We are in frame 13 of series 3. A little shout out to our sponsors, kahunaflooring.co.uk. A little bit hampered there by the yellow. Current scores are 10-3. To Mark. It's an incredibly good shot from where you were. He's keeping his lead in this session, sorry, this series of the Burden Trophy. Desperate to win it back okay. don't, don't, I'm not making this from me. Very... I'm desperate to keep it. So I need to do something special. And that's not it. Give a mark a great opportunity now to 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 uh, gain a early lead in this frame. It's a nice red. It's a nice black. I think he can just see this red to the bottom left of the pack. Yeah, it's queuing well, potting well. What's he going to do here? Try and hit the pack, maybe? Oh no. I was looking at the, um, I thought he'd take a different red on there, but that's a good start, a good start for Mark. 16 nil. No pressure. Again, hampered by that yellow. It was not a very good shot. Steve still holds the high break award. Um, if Mark can beat 28, a break of 28 in this frame, then the bonus frame will go to Mark. But as it stands, as it stands, it might be going to Steve. Just missed the green there to come back down for this black. Not the easiest black. It's quite a tight cut in. It looks pretty straightforward from this angle, but it's it's a few inches away from the pocket um, and the cue ball's on the cushion. So that's a nice hit. That's unfortunate not to leave anything on. Now this shot, I should have played a safety. I've, and I've clipped, clipped the red with my rest. So that's a foul. That's four points to Mark. Very frustrating for me. Surely it's going to be a safety. Yeah. What I should have done on the previous shot. Anyway. It's so annoying when you... you that's unlucky. You make a little break and then foul. It's just... Three steps forward, two steps back. Done well to avoid the in off there. Looks like a straightforward green to the middle pocket. Hold for this red by the yellow. Screwing back by the looks of it to for the uh, green again. Nice. And a natural angle here to play down for the reds. Um, I think I was going to hit the pack there, but it wasn't hard enough and wasn't in the right direction. But I do have a red onto the middle pocket. Keep this break going. Nine. Lovely. I'm going to have to play for this red to the left. Just overhit it. So that's break over, I think. Um, there's a half chance here of potting this red to the right pocket down on the black side. But it's a little bit of a shot to nothing. I'm going to leave the white safe. Fifth 
Yeah, left the white safe. So there we go. 21, 22, very close. I didn't think I left this red on, but that was a great attempt at potting it. In fact, I didn't even think Mark could see it, so fair play to him. And that was not the shot I intended. I tried to put a lot of left-hand side on that, so the ball would, the white ball would run away from the cushion up towards the yellow and green. But um, I've left it fairly safe, So, but on the other hand, I've given Mark a, a good opportunity to get me into a awkward position. Um, I think could have done a bit better there with a the cue ball but still it's not an easy shot for me and yeah so that's two safety shots in a row now I haven't haven't played well and again left the mark an easy safety shot a little bit hampered by the green gonna try and Get the cue ball back up to bulk. That's better. Yeah, that's much better. Solid. Looks like Mark's going to do the same. Needs to avoid hitting the pink. Oh, he pots it. Fair play. I don't think he intended that. I cannot hear what Mark and I are talking about because doing the commentary, um, I, I just can't hear what, what we're talking about. So maybe he did mention that then. Safety shot. Okay, so in my last frame, I missed completely missed all the reds with a safety uh, with a snooker like this. Not my intention now, definitely thinking about which red to hit. I'm going to try and come off the reds near the black. Try and get the cue ball back at the table. No, not quite right. Left mark a chance. He gets the red. Does the black go? Well... If it did, then Mark would be a little bit hampered here, but um, really got to think about this now. I do not want to leave Mark in. The black's quite close to the pocket. So I'm gonna leave the white and put the black safe. That was a bit lucky. I mean, it's only safe unless you're, you know, Got a good angle to pot it, but um, it was more potable a minute ago. That's a very... That was close. Now I need to be real careful. Mm, looks like I'm going for the, the pot here. This is dangerous. Fair play though, I mean... You've got to have a ticket, haven't you? Yeah, that was ballsy. Fair play. Can I stay on a red, though? That's the question. Oh, just not quite enough. Didn't come around enough. Now, this should be a safety shot. I cannot believe I attempted to pot that because look what happened. I mean, you scored eight, give away four. Not ideal, and look where the red is. So, easy opener for Mark, fair play. Looks like he's on the blue. If you can just play this right, he'll be on the red easily enough. Have to see you next season, Which he is. I think it just goes. Mm. Missed it. <laughs> well. No. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Now that's probably one shot I should have played harder or even softer than that because I've left myself nothing. Really disappointed with the uh, cue ball there. It's, yeah, I mean, that's just 
schoolboy era, to be honest. So, still quite a close frame. Still plenty of points on the table. A chance of getting the highest break are fading away. I remember this shot now, and I think I took the wrong red. I took the middle red. I should have took the outer red, the one that was closest to the black, but it's all good and well saying this. If it had gone in, I would have said, yep, yeah, that, that was the best red to take. So I think what I mean is, oh, that's unlucky, in off. I think what I meant was the shot didn't feel right, and I knew it. Um, I didn't get up and realign myself and, and, and maybe change the red I went for. So scores now, 33-35. So still a very tight game. This could go either way. Um, poor safety like that, then I'm just handing Mark points, really. This might be his last chance to make a higher break than 28. Yeah. Is it going in? Yeah. It's gone in. A bit fortunate there and then unfortunate there. So no, that's okay. unlucky. Oh, I thought that was going to go in then. Um, yeah, so unless Mark can get these reds followed by some colours, we don't count high break. We don't count a highest break award or a high break when it's just colours left. Now, you know, I can do everything in my power here to help Mark. How about that? Oh, well, I think that's the high break award gone. Mark's handing me a few points this frame. You know, it's funny with the luck, it comes around, it's with you or against you. When it's against you, it's against you. When it's with you, it can win you frames. So, that being said, I need to put this frame to bed. I don't know what I was doing with the white there. I should have just rolled it in, played a nice easy green. I don't know what I was doing. That was silly, so silly. And then I've whacked the blue, trying to get up, back up for the yellow and completely balls it up. So scores are 34-45. Eleven points in it. There's a chance now for Mark to snooker maybe on the black. Yeah, Almost. Oh no, it is. Here's a snooker. Fair play. Great shot. But like I said before, I do like I don't like getting out of snookers, but I'm pretty good at getting out of them. But I have left a pot on here, so that's a fail to me. Uh, that's unfortunately not to bounce enough, but Mark can snooker me here if he plays it right. Oh, he just rolls the white too much. It's a great chance for me to counter snooker Mark now. Try and put this frame to bed. Yep, that's a nice shot. What can Mark do here? Get close enough not to be a miss. Yeah, fair play. But again, he's he's uh, left me a chance. I should really be at least clearing up the green, brown, maybe the blue. Blue's a bit trickier being on the cushion. But that's a good angle to screw back for the blue. Reminiscent of the first frame of this session. What can I do? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Scores are currently 36, 52. 16 in it. I think Mark's trying to get me behind the blue there. He's left me a chance now. Just need to roll this brown into the middle pocket. No, not good enough. 
an easy chance to get me in a snooker now, which he does. Yeah, that was definitely played for. It was a good snooker. I'm looking at this now thinking I need to hit the top cushion on the left hand side of the blue and I'm aiming for the right, that's way off, way off. Dear, dear, dear. Well, that's four points to mark. That's a nice brown. Gets on the blue quite well. Could have done with a little more of a bounce off the cushion. But the natural angle for this blue will let Mark get on the pink. He rattles the jaw. Where's the blue going? No, no, that's just... Oh, dear. Well, I said luck comes around and goes around. And that was definitely the luck coming around with that blue. Pink rattles the jaw. Hits the rip on the cloth and changes the direction. Can you believe it? That was not going in. So what's that leave us now? Current scores are 55-52. Mark's pulled himself right back into this frame. It's a black ball game. I'm looking like I'm just going to go for it. And he does. Rattles the jaw. Kisses the white. And look where it falls. I just as well put it in the pocket for Mark. Anyway, that's a nice frame to win for Mark. So that's 11 frames to Mark. And I get the bonus frame, which makes it 11-4. That's the end of the session tonight. So time to pack up the table and be on our merry way. Thanks for watching, guys. Next session will be up shortly. The first frame of the next session will be uploaded Mon no, Tuesday. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in frame 15.